Alright, I'm not 100% sure where Jay is or when he will be on, but we can at least go forward with this as, as we sit right now. Who remembers what we did the last time? After the dinner, we went through the dungeon, the torture chambers, and if I remember correctly, we came to a chamber that had seven or eight stones and a portal and uh, without question we launched the green one i believe right yep and threw that in and it it we took the portal to the coffin makers place dumped us there so we had to sneak out of the town before we got caught and we started to make our way back to the castle and then ran into a group of travelers and they were scavenging the old broken down windmill and we helped them scavenge that stuff and bring it back to oh shoot i forgot the town name Vlaki. was it Vlaki? yes well Vlaki is where you ended up in the coffin maker shop you went uh, no, to the, we... the seer pool which is where the yes, where everybody's pool. at all right oh yeah yep so we helped scavenge stuff from the broken down windmill and brought it back to the seer pool and just kind of talked and ate drank and uh, listened to monsieur spiffy play his part out and i might have missed something so feel free we made it back to the castle we thought. yeah we did we made it inside you looped around the back passed back. through some portcullises you were out back by the chapel in the garden and then you were like hey let's just pry some of these boards off and climb in through the temple and then that's where you're at right now your eyes are adjusting you saw the the silver statue kneeling in a in a set of in a praying stance and below it was a uh, gluttonous man with chainmail armor and a, a mace with a spiked skull on it. His expression looks like it's in agony as he's lying there dead below the idol. What would you guys like to do? I'd kind of like to take a look at his mace. The mace? Give me an arcana check or something like that. All right. 15? You've seen this before, usually with people who are more evilly inclined. This is a mace of terror. It's gonna be that right. I'll use that mace. We're gonna flash it up. Boom. Show to everyone. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> There's in fact your mace of terror. That's what it looks like. Is that two-handed? I think it's just one. I think if it was two-handed, it'd be a mall. And I'm not trying to be pedantic about it. It makes sense. So what else do we see in this area? Is it? He's got chainmail. He also has heavy, a heavy jacket. A jacket. Yes. And then... You see the, the statue that is there. It looks like it's praying. It's pristine silver. A fur-lined black cloak embroidered with golden thread. It looks pretty expensive. You see a suit of chain mail and then his black mace, which looks like it is a mace of terror. What's... Can we... What's the coat? I'm just curious. The coat's just a 250 gold piece expensive coat. I'm sure it looks cool though, right? Absolutely. I take it. Right. As I reach for it, you just kind of like... I imagine that Adrian puts on some yield sunglasses. It's in your home. The men's chair weighs four pounds, so that's... Yeah, one-handed. Just gonna lean in real close. This is not my home. It's a good thing. It's this place. I don't like it. You family know it. Feel These like doors over here. Like These towards our crypt. Those it's you not... know lead back out towards the main hallway. There should be a suit, a set of suits of armor that lead back out to the entryway that you were originally brought in. So that's a quick way to get back into the main foyer that had the gargoyles. We try to search around here for a way into the. Right. The last time, you know that there was a stairwell that leads that way, and as your light kind of adjusts to the darkness, you see that it's been, it has some masonry work to it. Some bricks and mortar have been erected in its way. In Zelda terminology, it looked like you could put a bomb there and you'd find a secret passage. Yeah. That's how out of place it is. Can we That's hit it? I'm going to put my jacket on real cool, too, as I turn and walk that way. Nice. Like, you know, one kind of flowing motion, where it almost looks like a cape swinging around, but at the same time I get my arms in. But not, like, too far out and flamboyant, right? Like, I just do this all the time. You notice <laughs> that it has, in fact, been brick and mortared over. It looks like there are small holes that you can see through. Not a lot of light shines through. You just know that it is passable for probably extremely tiny creatures. A rat could squeeze through it. Is anybody here secretly a rat? Can I see through the hole to the other side? Does anybody have a torch or anything like that? Or is anybody using light? Flame. I was not. If you go over there and you use produce flame, you could see some of the light shining through. 
it looks like these holes are about a finger's width at the smallest and towards the ground looks like little barred entrances that rats eyeing the crowbar you could probably make a passable entryway in about an hour an hour with a crowbar will allow you to deconstruct the passage in order to be able to squeeze through if you took about two hours you could walk through it without it being difficult terrain what about a hammer that's part of the process is it's going to take a total of an hour in order to mm -hmm. get it to where you guys can like one at a time slide through mm -hmm. there or two hours with everybody working and you're able to get it to where you can just walk in and out and through I think we start working on that. And if somebody else has a better idea, I have an idea. This is your I house. I got an idea. I'd like to manifest Echo since I can see to the other side. Yeah, mm -hmm. you manifest your Echo on the other side. Yes, sir. Are you so with your Echo? Are you able to see what it sees? That's what I was just about to ask. Well, or I can swap places with it. I think if you're sick. Level. I think uh, yeah, I think you should be able to use it. Might be a little dangerous, right but there might be uh, something useful on that side. That's what I do. You pop over to the other side. Do you have dark vision? Oh, uh, one second. Negative, Ghost Rider. I have a little bit of his light shining through. So you I said have finger some. width, right? And I do have light because I still got my. Is yeah, I still have my whip go. Is the hole big enough where I can kind of shove the torch through it? Unfortunately, it, it will not allow a lit torch to pass through. But what Jabber sees is there's a stairwell leading, and then the stairwell leading down. It's grand in the center. And then as you strain your hearing, you can hear the fluttering of probably what is hundreds of bats using this main central chamber as entrance and egress down in there. You don't hear any motion or anything like that from... Can I see on the wall if there's any, like, rings to put a torch? Are you talking about a sconce? Yeah, sure. Yeah, there is. Right. Adam, could you, instead of me having to light my torch, could you shoot a flame through that hole and light my torch for me? I, could try. I think Firebolt catches stuff on fire. I don't know. Firebolt sure will does. catch stuff on fire. If you're looking at trying to like light your torch on fire, usually there's like flint and tinder in your equipment pack or somebody else's equipment pack. I, I have it, and Jabber doesn't like using it. All right. He, hmm. He's caught his hair on fire a couple of times because just the flints and steel. You want him to yeah, shoot he, he's, fire at you? <laughs> I'm holding the torch up towards the hole. I'm ducking down a little bit, waiting for a, a flame to shoot through to light my torch. We'll say that that is easy enough, and you are able to light that torch. Wait, I just pissed off some bats, though. I'm going to put the torch in a wall stone. All right, I have updated the map for you so you can kind of see what's going on there's the torch and then you see stairwell leading up and another one leading down what's everybody else doing at this point getting to work i'm gonna go uh, take the crowbar and hammer it you start working on the on the area a lone chime rings out it just hit midnight and you see a green spirit of the person who is lying dead before the altar gets up and starts walking. He walks through the double doors without even touching them and proceeds out. That's the only thing of interest that happens during that hour. And you've managed to clear an area. Oh, because the dead can't leave. It right? looks like they are doing their their uh, march of the damned where they're going to throw themselves off of the castle Ravenloft overlook crawling up those spirits with the least frightening things jabber's just sitting on a stair leaning back against the other one to a limb the stump waiting trying to figure out how did you figure out where we're to supposed to go back. down i think yeah. i guess we'd be done hold on just a second it goes down for about a hundred feet and then i will is everybody choosing to go down is there anything that you'd like to do in this room in the meantime yeah, i don't think there's anything here right probably just head down the the whole place looks like it's been shuttered in in various states of, of disrepair the only thing of interest that you saw was that dead man who you took his coat and i think somebody else took the mace and then that icon that was also there oh, what was the icon? it is a a silver figure it's about 12 inches high it looks like a person dressed in a garb that you haven't seen whose arms are outstretched it looks like they're praying it's, it looks like it's been very deliberately placed in the center of the altar i learned my lesson i'm, I'm gonna be yeah i was gonna um, say who took that nobody's taken it yet 
as far as I know. Wait, so this is at the bottom of the stairs? No, no, that's on the altar. The Before person, we go down the stairs. The cleric, sorry, the dead body who you took the mace and the coat off of that still has the chain mail was, like, directly below it. Face was twisted in an expression of, like, anguish. Yeah. Nobody's taking that chain mail, huh? Break for me! Do have a gun, No, not my style. I wait for the small enough! So, as you are making your way down, you see what looks like the start of the catacombs. And if you hold on just a second, I will bring you to that part of the map. Anything like the catacombs under Paris? Yes. Dude, when I was in London the whole time going to all these churches, I wanted to go to a catacomb so bad. I saw a uh, door going down. Couldn't get in. Dude, I would have. Do you know what London's nickname is? London. And why it gained? Necropolis. Dead bodies everywhere. The city was, a lot of the city was built Pretty upon metal. graveyards from the plague. I learned that one in middle school. This is a 40 foot long corridor. It connects two spiral stairways, one leading up and the other descending into the depths of Castle Ravenloft. Hanging from an iron rod bolted to the eastern wall is a dusty 10 foot square tapestry depicting knights on horseback charging across the battlefield under a bloody red sky. The lead knight rides in the black horse wearing a fur-lined cloak that is black, dark gray armor, and a visored helm shaped like a wolf's head. His sword glows with the light of the sun. And then the catacombs buried deep underneath the keep of Ravenloft lies an ancient catacomb with arched ceiling supported by a wide hollowed columns that double as crypts, cobwebs hanging limply in musty air. A thick fog clings to the floor which is covered in putrid waste. Black ceiling is moving up above and it's that time that you see hundreds of bats around this whole area. Does anybody... Oh, Adrian's got a light source because of your whip. Just 20 foot bright, no dim. Got you. All right, that looks like it's good. And then Dan Jackdale said you're gonna light a torch. Yep, 20 bright. All right, should look good. You see multiple doors to the caverns. Um, Are they all locked? Can I remember which one? would take me to the catacombs to uncle you know that your uncle would be as you're coming out of it you know that he would be to the right your father strad is to the left and then in front of you is your grandparents that's their final resting places oh i'm to the right gentlemen yeah, i'm gonna open that door i think it's a series of mausoleums down here if i pull up the catacombs picture again it gives you a pretty good representation so when you look at it you see at the base of the pillars in the dome, each one of those is a crypt. The The family, the Von Zarevich family, has a, a higher place of honor, and you know that is straight up. The cardinal direction would be the north of the map. Yeah. So, back over that way. But, if you want to look at any of the writings on the wall or anything like that, let me know where you stop. And I will take oh, it. I was looking at a different area. So we still had tokens over there. Jabber. The one to your right? Alright, hold on just a second. The one that Jabber is in front of says Petrina Velikovna, Bride. And you remember that there was a Dusk Elf. This is the crypt that he was talking about where his dead sister is. The one who he wants to bring back to life. And then, Adrian, were you looking at that one up there? Oh, which, yeah, what does that one say? The stone door to this crypt has been carefully laid to one side, and through swirling mist and perpetual fog, a freshly engraved letter spell out the words, Irina Kolyana, wife. It has been swept completely clean. I'm gonna go ahead and move up. All right, go ahead and take your movement as far as your movement will take you, and then we'll address where you guys are when you... Okay, well, then I'll add my extra movement. There you go. Silka and Mr. Spiffy are walking with each other. Oh yeah, you guys totally are on that other part of the map. Yeah, that's what I was looking at at first. There we go. You can see the portcullis in front of Mr. Spiffy's position. Okay. Hold on just a second. Let me tell you what you see. Is this it? White marble steps to descend into a tomb that has been vaulted that has a vaulted ceiling 30 feet overhead. A stillness, a calm amidst the storm, is felt here. In the center of the tomb, a white marble slab supports an intricately inlaid coffin. Chiseled into the slab's name is Sergei Von Zarevich. To the north, behind the coffin, lie three alcoves. A beautifully carved statue stands in each alcove, a stunning young man flanked by two angels, looking as polished and as new as the day it was placed there. 
An iron level protrudes from the south wall, west of the tomb's entrance. Yeah, this is it. Mm -hmm. Open this. Just for her, push it open. Look back. I would, dis I would respect your death. And then just continue to move forward. Y it, it's not giving. It's not giving. No. No. It's... It's very much locked. You're gonna need a strength check in order to take care of it, and it's gonna be a strength check DC 25. Did you say there was a some type of apparatus on the wall? There is. You can see a lever. Is the wall like a gate? Or it's something? a portcullis that comes down. Can How I far try is the lever? Can I, is it up or is it? The lever is like right here Oof. on the other side can you lift get it that's what i was just thinking I, if you had like rope trick or like mage hand yeah. or something like that i, no, I can't make like allow a that but you guys trick did, like that it's not even in range you guys did something like this in order to get jabber along the other portion of the wall yeah how far is the how high up is it uh, the stone steps are descending they go down about five ten feet i mean we can see through the gate right yeah yeah can you do your shiny man again? Manifest echo to the other side. And then teleport myself or exchange places with my echo. So that carefully. Yes. And I want to roll a stealth check on this one. Or actually, you know what? No, 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 no. My little inquisitive ass is going to roll an investigative check. All right. To investigate Let me the know lever. What you get. I got a 12. It is dead silent. You see no nothing. No booby traps? You see nothing but the coffin. You're looking at the ground for pressure plates, all that other stuff. You're pretty sure that the main deterrent is the fact that it's in the, it's in the catacombs and crypts of Castle Ravenloft. It's already pretty locked tight. You've penetrated the inner sanctum if you will. We're, we're here because Strahd invited. You walk up to the lever. It looks like it controls the mechanism for the portcullis. Does anybody want to say it? Pull the lever and the portcullis begins to rise as counterweights are released. They go up. You <laughs> are now able to enter in should you cho so choose. Yep. She said the sword was buried with him, right? According to the Taroka reading that you got, Madame Eva said that the sun sword will be with a sleeping prince and okay. this fits as much of the as much of it as possible we need to look around and find this sword before yeah, i would like to use my divine to the room okay when you enter the room you definitely feel all sorts of fiend undead behind you that whole place just reeks of of evil evil spirits and evil mojo in front of you you don't get any fiend celestial or undead i don't think it's fair Either that or it's hidden from me. Well, I'm gonna pop this can. Does it need the crowbar? Adrian, you put your hand on it and you begin to move it. And it, it resists it first, but then it, it's almost like it warms up to you and it becomes almost effortless to slide it. As the lid slowly moves away, you see somebody who's younger than you, decked out in plate mail armor, arms folded, still looks alive, still looks viable. Obviously, some magic has been cast on it, like a gentle repose. And then, by his side, you see the hilt of his sword. I'm gonna reach and take it. You reach and take it, and it is trying to communicate with you. I'm going to let it. Mist swirl in your mind as you are now face to face kind of in this third dimension with your uncle. My prince. Who are you? I am Adrian von Zarov, your nephew. My nephew? How could this Son come of to pass? Then I fear he has become successful. Successful at what? He coveted what I and Tatiana had. On our wedding night, he killed me. He drank my blood. I and the dark forces at the Amber Temple are the reason why he is the Dark Lord of Baroque. If you come here, I can only guess it's to destroy him, which sadly needs to be done. And you see him draw out the sword, and the sword has no blade whatsoever. And then he concentrates on it, and a huge beam of light sheds out. He goes, well, I think you'll be needing this. And he goes to hand it to you, and as he puts it in the palm of your hand, you can see the light fades a little bit grows dimmer until it pretty much shuts down. Adrian, I sense conflict in you. I don't, this is but a tool to be used to purge the evil, but there's already a lot of evil in your soul. You can just work with good. This sword will work for you and it will be instrumental in Strahd's destruction. I come to you from the 
pond in Kresik. My soul is trapped there. It is one of the only good places on here. I already feel myself weakening. If you need further answers, I will be there. And you snap out of it and you've got it. You're holding on to the, the sun sword with your hand. I'm just sort of staring at it. Say out loud, trying to get the question out before you can go. You were married to my mother? And just put it away. Everybody gains a level. You guys found next <laughs> thing. So that's level 8 for everybody. And as we're discussing that, what's everybody thinking? I'm thinking it. What does level 8 gonna give me? An ability score improvement or a feat. What do you do? Sorry, I don't know if you heard me or not, but uh, I'd like to know uh, where Adrian disappeared to for those moments. Oh, did I, like, disappear? No, not disappeared. You just, like, blanked out. Just some, some of your options here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I can also... You have in your possession the sun sword. I took the feat. Definitely took it. Go martial adept, baby. Alright, that should be there for you. That's what the hilt looks like, and that's what the blade represented when Sergei held it in his hand. It does have the stipulation that you have to be lawful good in order to attune to it. I might be making my way. Everybody loves a redemption arc. I've already adjusted a bit. I was thinking lawful neutral was going to be my next step. You got a good group. Hey, Doc. As we're leveling up, can I make a couple adjustments? Like what? I have a second. It's ability scores. I noticed my intelligence was way too high. Yeah, if you want to swap it, level ups is the time to do it. It's retraining. Oh yeah, okay. I did it. I took martial adept as a feat. Gives you what? Yeah, a couple of maneuvers and a superiority die. And the use of that. Excited about those maneuvers. I took repost and disarming attack. Repose is so good. Oh yeah. It's like what you feel. I thought to hit those me? two I wanna hit you back. Yeah, I thought those two would go well with it. Well also that's as a reaction, right? Yeah. Repost. And since it's as a reaction and I have sentinel, if I hit you with that you ain't going nowhere. You ain't moving nothing. Your speed zero eat all of the dicks, bitch. Just can't even run away after you're done. I took beat skilled expert. Which expert? Skill Shield or expert? skill expert. Yeah, skill S K I L L. Got it. Skill expertise. I chose athletics and stealth, and I'm about to choose my ability score. Choose the odd one. Constitution. Constitution's a total of 17. Dexterity, a total of 16. Strength, 13. 9 on intelligence. Wisdom, a total of 13. 11. Alright. I almost parameters. went with commanding strike. I almost went with just boom, someone else gets the hit now. Commanding strike is a good one, but, but it'd, it'd be better if you guys were like Power Rangers up. And you're like a little bit more yeah. coordinated. Well, I'm usually not like by myself in the front. I did that last time, but I saw a group, but it didn't say out loud with my mouth, hey, there's a group of enemies here. So, what are you doing? Anyway. There you go. Hey, Doc, I went up to a AC 15, but I have a plus 8 to initiative. Holy free holy. How the hell did that happen? If you click on it, it'll tell you like where all your bonuses come in. I, and I think you could click on the word initiative. Oh, there we go. Dexterity. You better. Are we capable of taking a short rest? Do you want to try to short rest in the crypts of Ravenloft? I would prefer we go back to the beds that we were given. That does sound better. Alert. Your alert gets you a plus five on your initiative. Okay, you grab that too. Hell yeah. Well, what's everybody leveled up? <laughs> so here you are in the crypts. It's about... We'll say 1.30 in the morning, day 8. So now that you got your shiny little sword, what's yeah. next? What are we going to do this, with it? This is an object I promised that I would obtain, but I don't think it is for who I promised. My uncle told me it only reacts to somebody who's, I guess, of pure eye. Shit, what is the sword for? To kill strong. Oh, I like what you're thinking. How does it kill him? Hopefully with my hand at the end of it. Mm, I had my doubts. Wasn't sure. But uh, if you're if you're into the killing, then I will help in that because that's my goal as well. Whatever means. Make no mistake, I may bear his name, but Strahd murdered my family. As he did mine. And for this, I will murder him. Well, whatever I can do to aid, because you and I both want the same thing. How do we get out of here? I don't want to be around these. I get the heebie-jeebies. Back the way we came. I say let's go. Hang around here too long. I guess we'll head back. Is that what you guys are going to do? Just kind of retrace your steps until you make it back up to the the chapel? Yeah. I think and then so. Back through the double doors the ghost went through, which would be the main hall and area. And then from there, we can find our way around. All right. I will put you guys back on Ravenloft map number three. Just to tell you how big this place is, you guys in the catacombs were on map number 12. Oh, it's huge. Yes. So much so that I've superimposed them all. And then oh, my God. 
put what passageway leads where with colored pencils. All right, you are back in that area. Up we go. Yep, and then back through the double door. All right, let me open those. And then let me read you what you see. This grand hall is cloaked with dust and stretches into darkness ahead. Webs hang from the arch ceiling like drapes, and both life-size statues of knights line the hallway on both sides, their <laughs> eyes seeming to watch you. That's what you know that further down this hallway, Adrian, is where you make it through the main entrance. It's further down we go, just down to them double doors. Are you opening them up? Yep, bam, bam. It's changed a little bit since the last time you guys were in there. What you actually see now is not the way that it was laid before you, but now, Cobwebs stretch between the columns that support the vaulted ceiling of a great dusty hall, dimly lit by sputtering torches and sconces. The torches cast odd shadows across the faces of eight gargoyles squatting motionlessly on the rim of the dome ceiling. Cracked and faded frescoes are covered in decay. And then you see the grand staircase over in that direction, the double doors leading to the minor entryway, and then down this way is where you guys actually ate. And uh, if you're trying to get back to your bedroom the stairway would also be there yeah let's go back to the bedroom that's down down that way we go is everybody else just following suit yes i believe so all right you head up one level it is silent from beyond that one door that you're at you head up the next level and see you have made it back back to the master bedroom were you trying to make it up to your original bedroom was i misunderstanding yep. that okay let me see if i can't find out where it is really quick one more up and you're in it. As you pass the painting of Strahd that's in this room, it seems to follow you with its eyes, but doesn't do anything. What's everybody up to? Oh, like that. We're, we're done. We're up. Getting Here. some sleep. Yeah, getting into that armor. Mr. Spiffy, Jabber, Hojin. It is a horrible night to have a curse, as you are unable to catch any restful sleep during the night. It looks like whatever stuck with you from the Night Mother Shrine was not wiped away with an apology. But Dan Jackals and Adrian are able to get a rest in if they want to. Jabber and Kojin, what are you guys going to be doing anything with your time or are you just going to be waiting patiently? I gotta count my coins. Play with the coins. I can't they, sleep. They can still get a short rest in, right? They can't get any rest during the hours oh. of night. Mother Mother Night is tormenting them. Does that stealing. eventually cause exhaustion? It it can if you go without sleep for long enough. Well, if we want to switch to a daytime schedule for sleep, I'm okay with that. There are also people that could probably take a look at it for you. You've met some of them. Oh, I wonder if we should take a little trip back. That we we're, were just there last night. Mm -hmm. Falaki, no, the seer no, the, encampment. The seer encamp. To go see Madame Ava. Yeah, that's my idea. Maybe she can yeah. give me some ideas. You've got Father Donovich in the village of Barovia. You also have the abbot in Kresik. The abbot? Was he the one that was, like, making those weird creatures? Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to. I can see why you're a little suspect of him. So, the night passes. A long rest would bring you guys to about... 8 o'clock in the morning, which is when Rahadin comes up and you hear a knock on the door and he announces himself. Lord von Sarovich, it is I, your humble servant, Rahadin. I've summoned you and your companions for breakfast. I'm hungry, thank you. And he takes his leave. What's everybody else doing? Are we gathered? You're, you're gathered in the uh, the guest rooms that used to belong to one Adrian von Sarovich. Alright, well, I'm going to look at Kojin and Jabber and say, what the fuck? You guys look like shit. Trouble that sleeping? Is, man. What's what's with the bloodshot eyes? I need a crap now. I can't sleep at night, man. You got need to see somebody yeah. about that. You were able to get a yeah. short rest in between like five o'clock and we'll say eight o'clock when everybody else finished their long rest. As soon as dawn broke, you can get that short rest in. That goes for uh, Jabber and Kojin. What do they typically serve for breakfast? I'm gonna head down to breakfast. You find your way winding down and it's the same area is before that you guys had dinner you see gertruda escher and irena are, are sitting there kind of huddled together eating it looks like pretty much like english style breakfast 
beans, sausages, toast, all that good stuff. I'll partake. It's pretty good as you're eating it. It counts as the ration that you need to consume for today, if you so choose. You hear uh, Gertruda and Escher. They are talking about the upcoming nuptials and how he needs to be safe when he goes to the Amper Temple. That She's heard that it's dangerous and certain people have told her fairy story fairy fairy tales that she's over overheard from being locked inside of her mother's house assures her that he will be well and then he looks at all of you and he says i i, I will have your support on the expedition correct in in three days i'm just waiting to be handed a cup you get handed a cup cyrus bellevue comes over and he's like his hair looks to be kind of slicked and matted to the side with what could only be described as like dapper dan's grease so and he hands you the cup it's a good vintage Thank you, Cyrus. You look good. Thank you, my lord. Nobody is safe in these lands. I would agree with you. This land is fraught with danger. You do have the uh, giant bird at Solenka Pass. That's what I'm most concerned about, but we should be able to use the teleportation circle to get there. Ludmilla assured me that from there it should just be a short travel. That'll help us bypass the green flame at the gate. I'm excited. We might even find some treasure possibly some lost secrets. My previous adventuring party never made it there, but from that card reading we got from that crazy old lady, it said that uh, there was a book there, though, that I was supposed to get. Maybe I'll find it. We've heard of the same book, haven't we? Yes. Your your Taroka reading also told you that the Tome of Strahd, a.k.a. Strahd's Diary, will be at the Amber Temple. And we're leaving for that in two days? Three days. It's going to be... Well, two days now. It's going to be day ten. So... What, what have we got going on in the meantime? Well, you guys have that curse. You want to get yeah. a look, right? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to look into that before we... Come oh, sleep out, man, man. What's the closest place where you can talk to somebody about that? I think that, that Madame Ava, she was really close. They were just, like, I mean, they weren't very far. We walked from there last night. Yeah, you don't have access to third level spells. You know that you would probably need somebody who is able to cast level three spells and specifically remove curse. So, Madam Ava might be the one for you. No, well, she might also know somebody else. Can. That is true. I'm down. Well, yeah, you need your curse removed as well. And so does uh, Mr. Spit. Mr., yeah, he can't be having you get... Do you want to come with us? He says yes. He definitely wants to get rid of this affliction. He's going to need it so that way he can be in tip-chop shape. So that way he can play at the wedding. Well, then at every door on the way out, I'm going to open it for him and be like, my lord. Oh, that's right. The The rest of the castle is suspiciously devoid of anybody else. But Rahadin is there on that grand staircase out front. Lord von Sarovich, shall I have one of the black carriages drop you off anywhere? I'm going to look at the rest of them. Go for a carriage ride. I'm tired. Yeah, me too, man. I was going to say he would just track where we go, but I don't think you need a carriage to do that, so might as well be tracked in style. All right, let's put you on the main map and see what's going on. The party is right there at Castle Ravenloft. Searpool is directly below you. It should take no time at all in order to make it there. Stick a shortcut, Doc. Did that be possible or no? You're gonna try to, like, bow duke the black carriage. You see those little lines? Each one of those lines represent a hundred feet in elevation change. Hell no. So the back of Castle Ravenloft all the way to the ground is a thousand feet. Mr. Spiffy can fly. He's down for it. No, I'm good. It's about six miles. It'll take you guys two hours. But in two hours, they will drive you to the to the Seer Pool camp. How soft are the seats? Oddly enough, not soft at all. They are planks of wood, almost bare bones in nature. Doesn't look like they get used much anymore. They're traveling in style? I would expect traveling in style with some cushioned seats or something. This ain't style. This is poverty. Lord Strahd usually takes Bucephalus everywhere he needs to go. You know Bucephalus is the name of his nightmare steed. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. I can summon his... Is it gonna be Donkey from Shrek? No. That would be pretty awesome though. Yeah. Well, that was just off the top of my head. That's definitely pretty good. After two hours of riding on a hard wouldn't see wearing heavy plate mostly. You guys lead the life of adventurers. A little discomfort isn't going to kill you. It's just not the most comfortable thing in the world. Hey, you got a sore bum? Like, look out the window. I'm assuming there's a window. Or, or... Yeah, it's, it's one of those domed-in 
carriages where you know like people get in and get out all the windows have like the blackest of black curtains shut in so if you pull them to the side through glass you can see out if nobody has any objections i can take you guys to the seer pool all right it's about noon on day eight when you guys arrive in the black carriage you see the Vista oddly enough actually have a warm welcome to Strahd's carriage as they don't seem to be alarmed and uh, the door opens and lets you out Donnie are sitting around in merriment looks like they haven't stopped drinking since last night the wine is flowing uh, I'm gonna head straight for I when I've we've been to the Madame Eva's tent yeah Madame Eva's tent before right yeah you know that she's in there off to that tent all right you guys make it into madam eva's tent it's the the smell of incense is thick in the air as she looks to be tending to arabelle who is still asleep in one of those trundle beds by her by her place she turns around and she puts her fingers over her lips as to shush you and then walks over towards you and closes the tent flap behind her. She's now outside with everybody. Let me give you guys a little bit more of a visual representation of what's going on. So, here's the question. Did you want to take Vasilka with you? Because Vasily Von Holtz is willing to transport her back to Kresik, to the Abbot, unless anybody has any objections. Isn't she our ally? She is your destined ally. She will be waiting for you at the Abbey in Kresik, unless you guys want to bring her with. And in that case, there's going to be a lot of us looking at a flesh golem. Kind of leery. Yeah, I, I don't see any reason why she would be needing to be with us. But that's my opinion. If you want, Mr. Spiffy can also go back to your guys' house in Kresik with Vasilka there as well. Or, right, well, no, he needs to be here for the remove curse. Never mind. He can, if, if she can. he can try to ask the abbot as well. Mr. Spiffy has a, a good inkling that he should be able to ask the abbot so he's going to double dip on that. Cool. But you're all out there. I'm out of Miva. I made a mistake. We, we made a mistake and pointed at Jabber and we messed with the Night Mother. Is that what I think was her name was? Yes. Is there any anything that you can do? Wait, I have returned it and, and I apologize, but I, I can't sleep at night. and I don't like the idea of sleeping during the night. The Night Mother has set her eyes upon you for some slight that you have done to her. She starts looking you over, her hands waving you can tell she's casting like detect magic and she's looking at both of you ah yes the night mother seems to plague your dreams and give you restless fits i can do this for you but i charge for these type of services much 50 gold pieces per person deal i got it would you be willing to take platinum yes i would that would be what how many platinum again that'd be five platinum each one platinum's worth 10 gold. Sounds good. All right, you got your curse removed. And for another five platinum, Kojin's got his removed. Cool. Thank you so much, Miss or Madam Eva. Yes, in the future, I would not run afoul of the entities that plague this area. You see, when you're as old as I am, you've seen a lot. If you did all three, that'll be 15, and we'll just count that he got his and then ducked out once he was he was good to go. So we'll make sure that that gets taken care of. Mr. Spiffy thanks you very much. Plays you a little tune as he flies into the carriage and then they're off. I think I'm playing Mr. Spiffy the way he's intended. And Madame Eva says, yes, when you're as old as I am, you tend to see a lot of things. There's a lot of entities that are at war with each other in these lands. Dark forces keep people trapped. Hopefully this will not be your fate. Tell me, have you found any of the items that I've told you about? Yes. Oh, good. How do we found the sun sword? What was the other thing? I mean, the... There's a holy symbol. Holy symbol? Okay, that's... And then and the diary, the, I think. The Tome of Straw. If I show this to you guys, bam, it should pop up, and then you'll see the other stuff. So the Tome of Straw, and then the the Holy Symbol of Ravenkind will be your level nine and your level ten, and then that should cap you guys out. Are we going for the Holy Symbol next? I think we're going for the diary, aren't we? Well, that's the one that we were going to be leaving for in two days. I think. So it's up to you guys. You know that the expedition's leaving in two days. If you guys want to try it on your own and possibly 
get what you need to get so that way you don't have to do it while you're there it's it's completely up to you it's your guys's way that you do this adventure they they are going there on day 10 early in the morning and they're going to be teleporting from castle ravenloft in the room with the braziers and they are going they are going to be going right there which is the amber temple so what's everybody thinking so the way that i see it mr spiffy has the deed to a house in the village of barovia as well which is close to castle ravenloft and close mm -hmm. to where you guys are at there's also irena koyana's adopted brother what is that dude's name is mark koyana you do know the location of gertruda mad mary was was looking for her somewhere out there rudolph van richten has a vendetta against the Vistani, and you guys are currently in a camp full of Vistani. What's everybody thinking? Where to next? What can we do in the meantime while we wait? Let's go check out his house in Barovia. Yeah. We're in the neighborhood. Are there any shops in Barovia? There are. Aren't there is right? that one dude that loves to sell stuff for an <laughs> exorbitant rate. It's like really expensive, but you guys have just fell into a lot of platinum, so you might be able to do what you need for the expedition. Get kitted up, get up and all that. Well, Let's 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 put a pause on the game right now and let's figure out what you guys are are, are gonna want to do because objectively you've got two days you got the rest of this day day nine and then early on day ten you guys are supposed to meet at Castle Ravenloft for the teleportation if you so choose you can always say no that is completely up to you it's just i personally like the idea of going with them increases our chances of survival i think hopefully there is that have uh, we left the velocity encampment the seer pool you guys are still here we're trying to figure out where you guys want to go to next in order to so that way i can like prepare that for next week well there's the the holy symbol that's on a mountain i think you're talking about the holy symbol of Ravenkind? Yeah. Do, do we know what mountain they were talking about in that quote? So the card is the Abjurer and a fallen house guarded by a great stone dragon. Look to its highest peak. So it might be the peak of a house. Oh, and Adrian, give me a history check. Damn right. You get it at advantage because, you know, this is kind of your home turf. 21. Out of all the places that have been destroyed in this land, and you've got two oddly by each other. You have the ruins of Berez, which is where you were born before it got wiped out. And then you also have what Strahd referred to as Interloper and Restless Dead, just north of that in Argon Vosthold. Those two places would fit the descriptions of ruined buildings, because half of Argon Vosthold was destroyed when Strahd retaliated. To Argon Vosthold. Yeah. yeah, man! Mm -hmm. Gonna get in the carriage to Argon Vostel. That's where we'll head. All right. be like, come on, Alfred, let's go. So yeah. next week, I will prepare Argon Vostel for you guys. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Argon Vostel. Yeah, hopefully we get Jay here. I'm excited to see what happens, what, where this thing goes. I mean, it really just depends on you guys how but, it ends up. Well, knowing that Adrian has this sword that he may not be able to use or give to somebody who can't use it, kind of, is this our intent? I will say that in the final confrontation Strahd is a very cunning and accomplished tactician so he he is not going to sit there and trade you guys hit for hit so i would definitely figure out a plan who knows maybe you'll find more allies along the way you have a chosen ally a destined ally it does not mean that you guys could not make other friends along the way. I could have foreseen a set of circumstances where you could have had Viktor Velakovich and God, what's the dude with the fucked up arm? Isaac Strozny. Both of them could have in an alternate timeline slash turn of events been been with you to try to take the castle. Who knows? They still might be persuaded. Nobody knows where Victor. Oh, he's the acting Burgomaster. He's a uh, he's from all oh. accounts he's still in the village of Velaki. And I'm thinking uh, I'm not I'm thinking, who am I thinking of? Who's the guy with the tiger? Oh, Rudolph Van Richten. Rudolph Van Richten. They have seen a caravan marked with circus attire. The Vasani at the steer pool. It he it was heading towards the town of Barovia. Interesting. Since I figured that you guys are probably trying to get as much information as possible. So that is something that would have come up 
in your guys' conversations. Who's the leader of the caravan? Who's the leader of the caravan? Starting that's right there. It would probably be Madame Eva. She's the she's the one that everybody looks to for guidance and say that again. I said I thought they had a leader. Was him the guy that we had talked to the leader? Oh yeah, uh, he was killed by a fucking tiger. Oh yeah, that's right. Him and the brother, one of them, the the father of Arabelle, Lubash, mm-hmm. he was killed in the initial attack. Got him back. His brother Argal was horribly disfigured. You see, he's got like scratch marks down his face. You know, his one arm is really haggard. He does not look very, very happy. Madam Eva have any like pushing the feeling? Roll me one d four. What'd you get? One. One. Yeah. One. She's got one that she'll sell you for fifty gold. Five. All right. It's regular potion healing. Two d four plus okay. two. She says that there are some people in Kresik that do make healing potions. The waters in the pool that's inside the city that's in the shadow of the abbey is said to have magical powers. One platinum? Each platinum is 10 gold, so it'll be 5 platinum will be 50 gold, which will get you the single potion of healing that she has. Unfortunately, supplies have dwindled from trying to save people's lives. 